everybody, Franz here with Concrete. I just want to take a second to have Evan show you our new hosting offering. So if you are working on projects that involve custom code, you are jamming on the core and maybe you have a few different developers, maybe not, maybe it's just you, but you want to keep track of your changes, but you're looking for a DevOps focused hosting option, something where you can use source control and have um, your changes automatically and thoughtfully pushed up to production um, and really lock production down, not have FTP access so you have security concerns later, always be able to kind of see where things came from. This is really cool. So without further ado, here is Evan showing how our DevOps hosting works. All right, so let's say that my boss has asked me to punch up the bylines here. They're a little too light. We want them to pop a little more so that we get these names out and everybody can see who wrote these great blog posts. So I wanted to do that. I can pop over to my code here. I can, uh, you can either clone the uh, repo down locally or you can work on it in GitLab directly. Um, so what you would do is find it here, you open it here, you can open it in the web IDE in GitLab if you want to do that. <coughs> And this is a pretty nifty tool. It's got code highlighting and everything. So I can find that style that I want. There we go. I can say, all right, I want to punch that up to 900. I wish I could do 9,000, but can't. So then I would say, sounds good. I'm going to create that commit. Looks good. I am punching up the byline weights. I'm not I'm going to skip right past the merge request. And I'm just going to commit it. There we go. Now all the changes are committed. And so now if I go back to my project, I can see that the pipeline is running. See here, punching up the buy and line weights. You can see here it says running. I can uh, check out the details here by clicking on it. And so you can see it's running these tests first off. So that'll take a while. Um, these deploys can take somewhere between two and a half minutes to four minutes in general, is how long they take. So you can see these tests are wrapping up, passing, passing. You also have the option to rerun the test. These two did not pass, but these are allowed to fail, so my deployment can continue. All right, that last one passed. So now we're over to the build phase where we're creating the tar file that will be used to deploy. Here you can see what's going on. Looks like we're done. There we go, green checks. So now, if I go over here, I should watch this byline. Get a whole lot chunkier. So there you go. That's how deployment works and how easy it is. Thanks, Evan. That is indeed very cool. If this is the type of hosting that you would find beneficial for your projects, we would love to talk with you about hosting your sites here with Concrete CMS. Thanks.